Hello class, Mr. Hogg here. And today I'm going to read to you Cat on the Mat by Susan Shade and John Bueller. Cat lives at home. She has pink socks, two posters, and three lucky rocks. Pink socks, two posters, and three lucky rocks. Her father paints. Her mother writes books. Her sister sings. Her brother cooks. Books, cooks. Cat hangs around. She's in the way. She wonders what to do all day. Way, day. She visits rats. They sit and talk. They watch TV. They take a walk. Talk, walk, talk, walk. This looks fun. Rat wants to try. Cat isn't sure. She feels too shy. Here they are at Bear's gym and they are going to a gymnastics class. The coach is nice to cat and rat. He lets them tumble on the mat. They join a class. They learn to flip. Sometimes they bump. Sometimes they slip. Cat sees a mat. She has a dream. She dreams of being on the team. Cat may be small, but she is strong. She works and works all summer long. The big day comes. Cat runs. She pounces. She twists and lands. Oops, extra bounces. It's Rabbit's turn. She leaps. She soars. She nails it and she gets a good score. Chick mounts the bars, she swoops, she swings. She points her toes and spreads her wings. Cat's swing is slow, her swoop is small. She tries her best, she does not fall. Rat is so cool on balance beam, you know that she will make the team. Cat is nervous and it shows. She wobbles on a simple pose. Whoa. Wobbles. The floor event comes after beam. It's Cat's last chance to make the team. The music makes her tap her feet. When Cat is good, she's hard to beat. Cat on the mat, watch her go. 21 handsprings in a row. Hooray for rabbit, chick, and rat. They made the team, and so did Cat. Okay, so that was Cat on the Mat, a rhyming story. I hope you liked it, class, and I will see you all next time.